Most of chips produced in the world are shipped to China because this is the country with the largest chips consumption. Most of them are consumed by manufacturing. While some continue to flow around the world, there are real chips and a small number of fake chips. How did the fake chips get to this company? What about events entering the U.S. military industrial system? In this data on the import and export of electronic chips, China's import of integrated circuit accounts for as high as 15.81%. These chips shipped to China are usually used for three purposes Directly sold to manufacturers for product manufacturing Starting in the supplier's warehouse as a chip reserve for sale Sold to other countries via China Hong Kong and Singapore have also become major hubs We can see that China's export data for this kind of product is also the highest in the world As high as 41.24% Of course, this does not entirely include this part of imported chips It also includes its other Chinese branded parts and components Counterfeit chips are usually circulated on the market for following forms Recycling of all the original parts and refurbishing them Similar function that can replace the original part and counterfeit them Directly produce copycat original parts Counterfeiting of completely different parts Products marked a defective are still sold in the market They may not necessarily fail or fail in the short time They can even pass a series of tests They are usually used in industrial products and automobile or high demand applications. Faults will only occur in military products and be identified. Most of people who buy counterfeit chips do so because they are greatly for cheap. The circulation of counterfeit chips lies in their low cost. Manufacturers around the world want to avoid buying chips from China, but in fact, it is difficult to avoid it. Because a larger number of chips around the world are following into China's circulation market even if they don't want to purchase from China There will still be lines about supplying chips to manufacturers climbing to be from Europe, the America or another countries The lack of components due to shortages also make manufacturers have to lower their standards for suppliers and purchase components from unfamiliar channels The only way is not only look at whether the price is cheap but to only cooperate with the supplier with rich business experience. When out of the stock, as a trusted and discerning supplier for help, if all the coins of counterfeit and shady chips are branding on the Chinese market, it will obviously be unfair to other upright suppliers. In 2010, 38 years old Stephanie McCraskey assisted a small Florida company, Vision Technology. In selling nearly 16,000 counterfeit integrated circuits worth 16 million. She and her boss, Shannon Nan, knew that the components were counterfeit and manufacturers in harsh environment, but still sold the components to their customers and they were used in military products. Missile and handheld radiation detectors and high speed control chain company. In order to conceal the source of the chips, they even lied that the chips come from Europe and United States. Most Chinese traders do not have a condition and qualification to supply American military companies. As for suppliers who sell counterfeit original parts, they have the ability to identify them and can choose right chips, but a huge profit tempts them. Counterfeit products are around the world, according to 2018 data. Counterfeit products account for 2.8% of total global trade. This is only the result of custom detection observations and does not include products that do not circulate through customs. The actual value of counterfeit products may be higher than this figure.